Okay, so let's look at the do while loop. This is the while loop. It has a condition. It has an initializer on top of the loop. Then the condition, the condition tester for the while loop. When everything runs successfully, if this condition holds true, then this code will run. So the while loop, the starter is before the loop. And inside the bracket here is the condition tester. The while loop will only run if this condition is always true. And this code will be what executed. So let's look at the do while loop. Therefore, each loop is used to iterate through resources or objects. It's used for reference types. We use the for each loop to uh, iterate through resources. Or when we say resources, we are referring to objects, classes, and all those uh, arrays, classes, and all those uh, reference types. So you use the for each loop. When we are doing arrays, or you want to iterate through a reference type. So let's see. Uh, we are generating the same loop using the do while loop. So let's say our start. This is the of the do while loop. We are doing, we are executing why a condition uh, holds true. You see, the do is there, and why the condition is true, we are repeating the tax. So the start of the year, as we, I said, 1990. So you see. Yeah, displaying the year, then a, a break tag, a break tag. Then we implement our starter. Why our starter is less than, our year is less than the current year. And the while, uh, do why is also very simple. It's less than or equal to the current year. So this is the structure of the do while loop. We have the start on top, then the condition that must be executed, and the uh, block of code that must be executed in the do while brace. Then after the brace, then we bring our condition tester. So the opposite of the while loop, the do while loop. We execute the code first before we check the condition. That's the do while loop. The code is executed so that we check the condition. So we are when we are about to execute this code again. We have to check if this while statement is true before we execute. So we run this. We are expecting the code to give us from 1990 to what? 2020. You see, the same thing 1990 to what? 2020. Because we are using the date function and we are getting the current year from the system using the date function. So the do while loop, the condition to be executed is in either block of code to be executed is in the do while brace after that we bring our condition tester so this code will always run if this condition here holds true so that's the do while loop and then as, as i said before the for the for each loop is used to actually to reference types example reference type is an array okay so if i have an array like student which is an array Either if you are using your version of PHP, you can do this. If you are using PHP 5.4, you can be doing this. You can use the longer, you can say it's equal to array. Uh, the older versions of PHP will do this. The same as this, same execution. So when I are reading an, an older version of PHP code, you see them doing array this. It is the same as this. This is the newer version from 5.6 upward. Then from, uh, yes, uh, 7.0 upward. This is the new version of PHP array. By right? the same syntax, difference in the syntax, but they are doing the same thing. So we want to uh, iterate through this, then we use the for each. For each student dollar student, that is this is the structure out there. Also, 
for the for each loop for each student are student then you can echo the value and the break tag and add a break tag sorry when you run this it will print all the array let's use the first one here So when you run this, it should print all the students on a vertical line for it. You see. So we use the for each loop to iterate through resources. Mm. It's like in Java, you have a, a array list and you want to iterate through the array list. You use the for for a in a in Java. You'll be doing something for a in a. Let's say Java. You can say for. A and if then you do your system dot out or auto out of print line by PHP simple like that. Yes, for each this as that. And the same every syntax should give it the same value. You see, either you are using this. Which is the old old school, or you're using the new school, which is this array syntax. Note the syntaxes, and we need them for each to iterate to a resource. So this is our lecture uh, on our loops. Next time, God willing, we are moving on to functions. So next week we'll start with function. Go and read on function in PHP. You can go to the PHP website to go and read on it, or any PHP resource you find, or you lay your hands on. So see you next week. Bye.